Hey guys, good morning from London. Today is my birthday, so I thought it'd be nice if you guys came along and celebrated with me. Hey guys, good morning. Today is my birthday. I'm filming this on the 15th of November and next week I'll be in Thailand when this video goes live. So, I know I was supposed to have Helsinki up and I'll have that up the following week but I figured it was better to do it this way so I've got some content for when I while I'm away in Thailand because otherwise it'd be just a bit bleak on my channel so I thought it might be a nice idea for you guys to come with me and see what I get up to on my birthday I thought I might go and explore a bit of central London seeing as miraculously there are blue skies today so fortunately Tig's got to go to work we had a bit of a celebration on Saturday with some friends, which is nice. Oh, this is my birthday cake. Isn't she cute? <laughs> not like a, not a birthday cake, but no. a birthday cake. Birthday cake. No. Yeah. The more special. Daniel always calls me a birthday cow, and I think it's quite appropriate. We came up with that in Rhodes when we were drinking together. So, birthday cow. So we got on the tube and headed into central London towards Blackfriars, which is my first stop. I said goodbye to Tig and began my adventure. So I'm in central London. I'm at Blackfriars. I'm going to make my way on one of the boats to Tower Hill and explore. Hopefully there'll be a boat coming soon because I'm actually meeting Jess later on for a coffee. So. Fingers crossed it all syncs up well. I'm waiting here at Blackfriars and hopefully the boat will come. There's no display but I see an Uber boat over there so I'm hoping it comes here. It should do, fingers crossed. Sadly, that Uber boat wasn't stopping here so I had to abandon my idea of sailing and get the tube instead to Tower Hill. As soon as you walk out of Tower Hill Station, you see the Tower of London right in front of you and to your side, the remains of a wall. So walking through here, it's just weird because the Roman wall is just kind of like plunked in the middle of the city and it's just like a slab of wall. Definitely random, but not worth going out of your way to see. It's kind of nice that they still have this here in London. It's the Roman and medieval wall and you can kind of walk through it, which is nice. It's kind of nice that it's built up around everything else actually. So this wall actually dates back to 200 AD and are the remains of an old city wall that stretched over two miles from Tower Hill, where we are now, to East Blackfriars. The wall stayed intact for over 1,700 years now only parts of it remain, but it's fun to try and spot them around London. That's one thing that's really cool about central London, is you never know what you're going to stumble upon. And they're hidden in the most unlikely of places. So get out there and explore, because you never know what you're going to find. After exploring some of the Roman wall, I got back on my train and made my way to East London to grab a coffee with Jess. An alien with a, a ball in its mouth. We are in Shoreditch, right? In Shoreditch. Yeah. And that's where we are. And it's Kate's birthday, and we're gonna have a good time. Oh yeah. We just met a man who took our picture. That was, quite, our picture. That was quite random. God knows it? what he's gonna do with it. I know. <laughs> so aliens aside, we made our way into this cafe to get a coffee, and of course, Jess had to get a slice of cake too. Well, I must, yeah. I'm eating for both of them. for two. I'm eating for two. So just here with Jess having a nice coffee. I've got a nice top chai latte. Just a latte. regular, because I'm basic. <laughs> After enjoying our lattes, we made our way to an incense shop. It wouldn't be me and Jess adventure without some lovely incense-y stuff. Uh, funky garden. I 
ambient black tea, pepper and wood. Okay. So after me and Jess had a moment getting high on the incense, we carried on exploring the streets. Bit of grunge for you. Bit of grunge. <laughs> if there isn't a bit of litter, are you really in East London? <laughs> It looked pretty cool up there on the bridge, but as we carried on walking, we started to smell a strong smell of urine and poo. No! <laughs> smell through the video. Right? It didn't smell to start with, now it's like a pungent smell of urine. I blame Jess. I'm glad that we went into that incense shop because Jess actually put some of that lovely... You can smell it, Carl. Yeah, you can smell it mixed oh, with all the... Smell it. Oh, that's better. Just hook me. Oh God, that's the worst patch there. Oh God, just hold your breath when you go through. <laughs> oh, it's shit on the floor. Oh, Look, no, that's, that's what it is. That's human shit. Oh. Hey, we'll wipe our shoes. We'll have to wipe our shoes. That's a bit of a highlight on your birthday, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, East London shit on my birthday, right? <laughs> Mad woman. There she goes. So it was now time for my visit at the Cat Emporium, so I said goodbye to Jess and made my way inside. These are the cats that live here and I'm so excited to meet them all. This is a very cool place. The cats are just chilling with you to eat, which is nice. These cats that have were, would have otherwise been abandoned here and having this as their home. So as well as the upstairs section, there's a downstairs area too, which is pretty magical with an Alice in Wonderland feel. all over the place hiding around every corner. This little cat is called Gimli and she absolutely loves going up onto that cabinet using a member of staff to jump up to the top. This is such a cool place, there are literally cats hiding all over the place. You never know where you're going to spot them next. All the cats are rescued cats and you can come in here, enjoy some food and play with the cats, it's really nice. After spending some time with the cats downstairs, I came upstairs to discover a lovely surprise for my birthday. So after I tucked into my cake and my drink, it was time to get back to playing with the cats, but suddenly they seemed very distracted and all headed downstairs. There's a bit of activity going on now. After a minute or so, they all rushed up. It was apparently dinner time and they were all excited to have a feed. I really connected with this cat. His name is Hippo and I absolutely love him to bits. That's the cool thing with this place. There's so many cats, there's one for everybody and you always end up bonding with a particular cat. So it was time to leave. I absolutely love spending time with all these cats. It's so, so nice that they've got a home to stay in. I'd recommend booking in advance if you want to visit. Prices start from around £11 and the money goes towards helping the care of these cats. That was really, really nice. Lovely time with the cats. They've got that as their permanent home, unless of course, 
when they get older sometimes they don't like playing as much and they just want to chill out and watch a movie with an owner in which case at that time if they feel a, seem to look a bit unsettled or that they, like they just want to slow down then they'll rehome them which is really nice so it's a great initiative they've got going on and it's lovely that you get to chill out with the cats definitely made my birthday really special after an amazing time with these lovely cats I made my way to an Italian restaurant called Gloria where Tig was taking me to dinner so Tig has booked an Italian for my birthday I'm here at Gloria and he's gonna come in about five minutes so I'm looking forward to having the food it's really nice and chilled in here so once Tig arrived, we ordered a beer and continued the celebrations. He kindly booked this for me as a surprise. Yeah. It's a really nice place. It does look really nice here. Very atmospheric. <laughs> I really love this place. The food was delicious and they even got me some tiramisu with a little candle on it for my birthday. How cute is that? Going? Well, we're going to a special place called Bolly Bolison, which has drunken ball pits. <laughs> drunken ball pits. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. You don't have to be drunk, but you'll probably see a lot of drunk people there. Well, <laughs> some birthday balls. That's what I like. <laughs> this place looks so cool. So let's go inside. way too much fun in the ball pool and it was a great experience. Pete had joined us for some drinks which is awesome. Now it's mine and Pete's turn to try the other deeper and more dubious ball pool. The boobs are really upsetting me. <laughs> <laughs> They're quite disturbing, aren't they? Yeah. Especially that sunburn one over there. So after fun and games in the ball pool and disturbing Pete with the boobs on the wall, we had a few more drinks before calling it a night. So that was a really fun day. Tig made it very special, as did Pete and Jess. So yeah, we're going to get on the bus now. So lots of balls and boobs, my kind of night. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. So next week, I will have my Finland adventures where you guys will see, well me, not Tig, exploring Helsinki. So until then guys, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye, thanks for joining me on my birthday. Bye.